It's Ash from Super Videos, back for another video for Season 5 of Fear the Walking Dead. This is going to be my death predictions for Season 5B of Fear the Walking Dead. So the second half of Fear is right around the corner. So I thought it's the perfect time to release the death predictions for Season 5B of Fear. So with that, let's jump right into it. First off, we have Morgan. Of course, Morgan at this point can be seen as the main character or the star of Fear the Walking Dead. So I don't see them really killing Morgan off. If anything, he might move away, which is again, unlikely, but I could see that being more likely than him getting killed in Fear the Walking Dead season 5B. And what I mean by leaving is for him to either cross back over to the Walking Dead or to leave Fear and join the movies with Rick Grimes. Next, we have June. Now for June, I don't see them killing her off in the second half mainly because there's been no build up to it either and you know they've done a lot with John and June and it doesn't seem like they want to move any of their stories towards that direction where one dies and it moves the other character's story forward so because of that I think June is safe for season 5b season 6 that's a different question but I don't think that they're setting her up to die in the second half of season five. Next, we have Althea. Now for Althea, before I thought that she might die this season, but because of what they did with her story and how they connected her story to Isabel, who's gonna be part of the movies most likely, and how they are connecting Fear the Walking Dead to the Rick movies, because they did that and because Althea is a connective tissue between those two things, I don't see them really killing her off. So I think for now, for the time being, she's going to be safe and she's going to stick around for a little bit longer. Next, we have Charlie. Now, I've always said this. If they were going to kill Charlie off, they would have done it long ago. They would have done it when she killed Nick. And also now, it seems like what they're doing is building some sort of bond between Charlie and Daniel Salazar. So because they're doing that, I think it'll be repetitive for Daniel Salazar to lose yet another person that's really close to him. So because of that, I don't see them following that story and I don't think Charlie's fate is going to move towards that direction. So I think she's going to be most likely safe, at least for the time being. Next, we have Dwight. Now, Dwight, obviously, he just crossed over to The Walking Dead. So at this point, it would be extremely odd for them to kill him off. So I think he's going to be safe for most likely the next few seasons. As long as he's going to be on fear, I think, just like Morgan, the chances of him moving away from fear and joining something else is higher than him getting killed off in fear mainly because he's a crossover character next we have daniel salazar now daniel salazar it is very interesting because we thought he was dead like multiple times and he always came back so at this point i think if they were going to kill him off they would have done it by now and because they're not doing that and because he's such a fan favorite character, I think he's going to stay alive for a little bit longer. Next, we have John, just like I talked about with June. I think for now, both John and June are safe in season six, maybe even later on if there's more seasons. They might build it up so that one of them might die to push the other story forward. But at this point, I just don't see them killing off John or June. If they end up killing John or June, I think it would be more for shock value rather than for it to move the story forward. Next, we have Wendell. Now, for Wendell, I believe he is safe. If they were going to kill Wendell off, they would have done it in the mid-season finale of season 5. Because they didn't do that, because he's still alive, and because they made him a fan favorite character at this point because of what they did with him in the last episode, I feel like he's going to be a longer term survivor. If he dies, it'll most likely be next season or the seasons after. But as far as season 5 is concerned, I don't see him getting killed off in the second half. Next, we have Logan. Now for Logan, he is going to be most likely the villain or the anti-hero sort of way for Fear the Walking Dead survivors but I don't see them keeping him for much longer so I think they're gonna most likely kill him off in the second half although I do think that they could do something very interesting with him and make him a very interesting villain but I don't see them moving towards that direction but I think if he's going to be killed off it would most likely happen in season five so he's the first character I'm putting on the chopping block as far as season 5 is concerned. 
Next up, we have Grace. Now for Grace, I don't think that she had any sort of story in season five they didn't really focus on her that much so if they kill her off it'll be extremely odd they're just building up this character for maybe later on to utilize or for her to become one of the main characters so at this point i don't see any reason why they would kill her off because there's just no reason it wouldn't really have any sort of payoff it wouldn't really do anything for the story next up we have sarah now unlike wendell Sarah is not that safe. I think Sarah might be one of the characters that they might actually kill off in order to push Wendell's story forward. Because of what they did with Wendell in the last episode, I don't see them killing him off. However, for them to continue to make his character interesting and his story interesting, they would need to do something to push his character forward. And I think Sarah's death based on the connection Sarah and Wendell have, will do that. Next, we have Victor Strand. He hasn't really done much. He's been there for a long time, but he hasn't really done anything too special. He's a character that's been there for a while. He's a big character. If they want to kill off a character, fans are not going to go crazy if they kill him off. They might choose Victor. So if they want to go with a safe death, Victor Strand might be that safe death for them. Next, we have Luciana. Much like Victor... Luciana is a safe death, I think. Because if you kill her off, I don't think many fans would really be shocked or would really lose it. But at the same time, she is a big character that has some sort of connection to some of the main characters. So because of that, I think just like Victor, she could be killed off. But I don't think they're going to kill both Luciana and Victor at the same time. I think from both of those, they are going to kill one of them as one of the bigger deaths in the second half. Next, we have Alicia. Now, for Alicia, she might be the biggest death of the season or she might be someone that's going to be dying later on because we still don't know if she's going to die or not. Most likely, she will die, but she's going to have a slow death. So the big question is whether she's going to die this season or next few seasons. So because of that, I'm putting a big question mark beside Alicia's name because there's a very good chance that she might die this season and she might be the biggest death this season but at the same time i think there's a chance that they set up her death for later on and not just yet and that's basically it that's all the characters that we have for season five be a fear the walking dead so my death predictions consist of sarah one of victor strand and luciana definitely logan and maybe alicia I want to know everyone's opinions and thoughts. Who are your picks for people who might die in season 5B of Fear the Walking Dead? That's it for this video. See you next time for another super video. If you like what you see, press like, subscribe for more content, and press the bell button to receive notifications for daily uploads.